If you want to know what research has to say about today's topic, please stay to the end of the video where we will reveal the answer to our research. Welcome back to another video on 21st Century Opinion. My name is Emmy, if you didn't already know. And this is your boy, Johnny Boy the Great, aka Johnny Boy the Great, but you already know that. Thank you for tuning back into another video with us um, today. For today's topic, what will we be talking about? Um, didn't you say something about uh, the you best saw. way to meet? <laughs> so we're <laughs> going to talk about the best place to meet someone if you are looking for a serious relationship. Oh uh, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> so maybe. You're a bit too. Anyways, so to start with... Because she's mute. She's so mean. So the best places to meet someone if you're looking for a serious relationship. Um, I think most people just go to the bar or a club. Um, wait, you said to, for a serious relationship, right? Yeah. A bar or a club? Mm-hmm. Um, I think people go there to have one night stand, not to meet someone serious. I, 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 I think people go to the bar to look for a serious relationship. No? Well, mm, I don't think so. People go to the bar for two reasons. One is to get drunk and clear their head. Mm -hmm. And two, to, find, to possibly find a one night stand. So if you were looking for a serious relationship, where would you go? Me? Yeah. I think the best place you can find a serious relationship is the school library. Basically in school. What if you're not in school? If you're not in school, then you're screwed, man. After you graduate college, if you don't, you don't, if you don't find your perfect one, you're screwed. You're probably reading the Godmother book or Stepfather. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can find. Um, honestly, I think if if you're out of school and you're not like an active member of a church, if you're not, you can become an active member of a church and hope to find someone there, depending if you're religious or not. What? <laughs> you wouldn't look for a relationship in a church? No. That would be the best place. Yo, you have a better chance finding somebody at a bar than the church. Like literally, yo, the girls that go to that goes to church are literally those girls that was partying, getting wild on Saturday nights, and then they show up on Sunday morning to church just to hopefully that God will bless away their sins. <laughs> <laughs> but for I uh, I think you could find a decent man in church. I also think, though, just because they were partying the night before doesn't mean they're not capable of being in a serious relationship for them. Nah. <laughs> nah. Church, mm -mm. you have a better chance at a dating site or something. Not Tinder, though. Tinder is better than just booty calls. I would say if a dating site, if you're, if you're not in school and you're not meeting people at work, a dating site is probably your best bet. I would, I would go to church personally. Um and hope to find someone there. Um, I think you could meet people at the gym. People would come and talk to you if they're interested. They might not be looking yeah. for a serious relationship. No, I think the gym might be serious. But I'm just saying, like, for example, if you take church, right? Mm -hmm. Some guys go to church expecting to, like, almost like they were going to the club, like, try to find girls and, and things like that. Really? Like, yeah, I think so. Um, I think I, I will go to church after girls. I don't know. That would only be you. Bro, I know my little entourage used to go to church after girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think also, I think you could, it depends on who you're looking for, right? So if you're an alcoholic, you could go to that bar looking for a serious relationship. At least you know that person won't worry about who you are, you know what I mean? If he ever says, like, you're an alcoholic, you just be like, what do you think if you find me at the bar, obviously? Um, see... See, like for example, right? I think, I think going to the bar is not the in environment to find uh, to find someone you're looking for, right? It's like loud in there; the person can barely hear what you're saying, and you know, like you you're not gonna get a a good initial connection. I think for you to find someone like you possibly can have your life with it has to be more in a quiet setting, like quiet place, you know. It's not like the typical places, you know, like I would get up and be like, yo, I can find somebody there. Maybe you might just be walking down the street and then you run into somebody and then you have a little conversation and there's a connection there. But as as far as a specific place where you can find love, I don't think that, I don't think that exists. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I took um 
like I said, school for example, because mm. school there's like quiet settings, like you can be in the library and then you might have class with that one person and then you know, and then maybe you fall in a group together and then you start getting to, the, to know the person slowly and then you know, that's how it clicks. That's why I also said, I also say if you out of school, it might you might be out of work. <laughs> <laughs> I think also too, people tend to um, decide whether you someone that would potentially want to be in a relationship with based on how you act in your natural environment. So if you if you had a restaurant alone, I think people would even if that other person that's walking by wanted to come talk to you, they would hold back. You know what I mean? You the true. fact that they don't know you very well, they wouldn't, uh, not many people would go up to a stranger and be like, oh, you sitting alone, like, can I sit with you at a restaurant? Like, people would just be like, okay, you're eating alone, let me leave you alone. And obviously, you can't go to the movies expecting someone's going to walk up and talk to you. It's dark in there. Maybe at a park. Yeah, park, yeah, yeah, park can work. But, yeah. Like, you know, some people as well, too, like, just put their headphones on like when they don't want to be bothered right so a library library yeah that's what i said yeah so if you, <laughs> no not a school library you could go to a public library if you are looking for a serious relationship go to a public library i think it's a quiet environment where people can have conversation people are likely to walk up to you at a library and start a conversation and it's easy to start a conversation at a library. Pretend you're reading a book. Some random person is going to be like, oh, what are you reading? What is it about? If they want to talk to you. And they think you're smart because you're in the library. <laughs> <laughs> and you might actually find a decent man at a library because if he wasn't decent, he wouldn't be at a library. Mm. At a party, though? I don't know. I, I think you could find a serious relationship with at a party. Eh, nah. No, you can't. Well, I mean, it's very... Unlikely. Hmm. I think it's likely if you invited out, like if you at a party where they're with a group of friends, someone might be watching you. You never know who's watching you, and they might walk up and talk to you. You're not gonna have a deep conversation at a party, but you could exchange numbers and see where it goes. So I think going out a little more, you might find your significant other at a party. So when they ask you, when one of your friends invites you to a party, you can say yes. It depends what kind of party, though. Well, like there are two different type of people at the party, though, right? There's this person that's like too wild and too goofy, and then there's that person that's way too shy that never shows himself. But you have to find, you cannot have to find the right balance for you to actually find someone, right? I think even the people that are too shy to like with a wallflower at a party if you go up to them like they will be open to having a conversation because they obviously need something to occupy themselves with so i think they will be open to have a conversation and if a person is wild at the party you wild too there you go you just find a soulmate there perfect <laughs> all right um that's it for this video if you have a story on where you met your loved one i mean maybe if we if you guys share one of your stories maybe we share our story maybe but anyway if you have a story or you have a better place that you think it's absolutely absolutely 100 percent guaranteed that this relationship is going to work leave it on the comment we would like to learn from you guys we like when you guys comment and enlighten us but so i researched this to see what's the perfect place oh you're supposed to do the drum roll drum roll please well we don't have a drum roll though. Oh, 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 oh. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. <laughs> oh, you didn't start yet? I, I got it. Can I give you so, the <laughs> Research says the best place, um, best places to meet people, uh, would be health, fitness clubs. So kind of same thing as the gym. Sporting events. I would disagree. Um, social sports parties like i said festivals volunteer activities and classroom i disagree with most of these in other words if you're out of school and you don't have a social job you might be dying alone so join an online site maybe christian mingle or some shit i sell cats <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching please leave a comment and subscribe bye bye